interrupt your regularly scheduled programming to bring you some breaking news. Just yesterday, the World Wide Web Consortium published the first draft of CSS Animations Level 2, not to be confused with Web Animations Level 2 that we reported on just the other day. They added two new properties to the CSS Animation family of properties, extending its usefulness and functionality for animation programmers and web developers. We have correspondent Dorky McNerd on the scene live to bring you all of the breaking details about this amazing story. Hello, Dorky McNerd here, and just the other day we reported on the first draft of Web Animations Level 2, but now we have CSS Animations Level 2. And you can see that it was just published yesterday. If you go to the history, first public working draft, March 2nd. Now what I'd like to direct you to is the changes since CSS animations level one, which I've covered in great detail at my website. And I'll be showing you that in just a moment. So the changes since CSS animations level one are the interaction between CSS animations and web animations is defined and the concepts of the owning element and animation composite order are introduced. Then we have the generation of keyframe objects is described in detail. The animation composition property is introduced, which defines the composite operation used when multiple animations affect the same property simultaneously. Then the animation timeline property is introduced, which defines the timeline used with the animation. The animation shorthand property is updated to account for these new properties. That way you can use the shorthand animation property to add your composition and timeline. Then a dispatch of animation events is described. The CSS animation interface is added, which is how we program against these properties and events using JavaScript. And then finally, requirements on pending style changes are described. If you click that, you can go and read all about the animation composition property and the animation timeline property. Now to give you guys a jump on this, if you'd like it, you can go to my website, adamcorey.com, click videos, JavaScript, and then scroll down to the bottom and you'll have animation programming and web animation programming guide. In the web animation programming guide, we discuss all of the animation family of properties in depth. And in this series, you can learn transition animation programming, keyframes animation programming, sprite animation programming, script-based animation programming using JavaScript. And JavaScript is involved in all of these. Collision hit detection, DOM programming, SVG animation programming, SMIL, and then finally, 3D animation technologies for the web browser. We discussed that at the end. And I'll certainly be adding to this series of videos to show how to use these two new properties that were just introduced. You can also garner some other animation techniques by checking out the animation programming playlist here. And I've got some new sections coming to the site, which you'll see on the home page pretty soon. One section is the vlog, and another section is social studies. And I'll be updating the home page and the videos section when you click videos. That way you guys will be able to get to all of that. We appreciate you tuning in. Now back to your regularly scheduled programming.